Cell biology is essential for understanding how cells work. One important aspect is how DNA damage is detected and repaired. We will explore cell cycle checkpoints and DNA repair mechanisms, including the G1, S, G2, and M phase checkpoints, ATM and ATR kinases, the P53 pathway, and repair methods like homologous recombination and non-homologous end joining. We will also discuss checkpoint adaptation and surveillance mechanisms. The cell cycle is a regulated process with distinct phases. The G1 checkpoint is crucial for sensing and repairing DNA damage before DNA replication. The protein P53 plays a key role in activating the G1 checkpoint and initiating repair processes in response to DNA damage. Ongoing research aims to understand the signaling pathways involved, aiding in cancer treatment development. In the S phase, DNA is replicated and mistakes or damage can occur, leading to genomic instability. Cells have a surveillance mechanism called the S phase checkpoint to prevent replication of damaged or incomplete DNA. When DNA damage or replication stress is detected, specific kinases are activated, stopping DNA replication and giving time for repair processes to fix the lesions before the cell continues dividing. The G2 and M phase checkpoints function as guardians during the late stages of the cell cycle. The G2 checkpoint ensures that DNA damage incurred during DNA replication in the S phase has been successfully repaired before the cell enters mitosis. Similarly, the M phase checkpoint ensures accurate chromosome segregation and prevents the progression of mitosis if errors or DNA lesions are detected. These checkpoints rely on intricate signaling networks involving kinases such as CHK1 and CHK2 that monitor DNA integrity and coordinate downstream events to halt cell cycle progression when necessary. ATM and ATR kinases play crucial roles in cellular responses to DNA damage. ATM responds to double-strand breaks, while ATR responds to various DNA lesions. These kinases activate signaling pathways that pause the cell cycle, initiate DNA repair, or induce cell death. Dysregulation of ATM and ATR is associated with genetic disorders and cancer. The P53 protein is a vital tumor suppressor that responds to DNA damage and helps maintain genome stability. When DNA damage occurs, P53 is activated and migrates to the nucleus, where it regulates the expression of genes involved in cell cycle arrest, DNA repair, apoptosis, or senescence. Disturbances in the P53 pathway are closely linked to cancer development and resistance to treatment, making it an important area of study. DNA damage recognition is crucial for effective DNA repair. Cells have specialized proteins, like the MRN complex, Ku heterodimer, and DNA PARC, that quickly detect and signal DNA lesions. These sensors activate signaling pathways to bring repair proteins to the damaged site, maintaining genome stability. Cells have specialized mechanisms to repair different types of damaged DNA. The major pathways for repairing breaks in DNA are homologous recombination and non-homologous end joining. These pathways use different strategies for repairing breaks and are tightly regulated. Other repair mechanisms include nucleotide excision repair, base excision repair, and mismatch repair, each targeting specific types of DNA damage. In this video, we will discuss two important DNA repair mechanisms, nucleotide excision repair, NER, and base excision repair, BER. NER is capable of repairing a wide range of DNA lesions caused by UV radiation, while BER specializes in removing and replacing damaged or altered bases in DNA. Additionally, we will explore mismatch repair, MMR, which plays a crucial role in correcting replication errors to maintain genomic stability. These repair pathways rely on precise coordination of proteins and enzymes to ensure the integrity of the genome. In this section, we will discuss the nucleotide excision repair, NER, pathway, which helps remove different types of DNA damage. NER includes global genome repair, GGR, and transcription coupled repair, TCR, both important for repairing DNA lesions. NER defects can lead to genetic disorders and a higher risk of cancer. In the video, we will explore the complex process of homologous recombination, HR, in DNA repair. HR utilizes a sister chromatid as a template to precisely fix DNA double-strand breaks. Dysfunction of HR can result in genomic instability and is linked to cancer and genetic mutations. Non-homologous end joining, NHEJ, represents another major pathway for repairing DNA double-strand breaks, DSBs, in mammalian cells. Unlike homologous recombination, NJ does not require a homologous template and can directly ligate broken DNA ends. NJ operates through a multi-step process involving end recognition, DNA end processing, gap filling, and ligation. This repair pathway is active throughout the cell cycle and has the advantage of being fast but error-prone, often resulting in small deletions or insertions at the repair site. 
NJ plays a crucial role in maintaining genome stability, and its dysregulation can lead to chromosome translocations, a hallmark of certain cancers. Checkpoint adaptation and surveillance mechanisms act as fail-safe systems during DNA damage response, promoting cell survival or ensuring the elimination of cells with excessive or irreparable DNA damage. Cells can undergo checkpoint adaptation, wherein they override cell cycle arrest, even in the presence of DNA damage, allowing them to continue dividing. This can lead to the transmission of damaged DNA to daughter cells, potentially promoting genomic instability. In contrast, surveillance mechanisms monitor the fidelity of DNA repair processes, ensuring that cells with compromised repair mechanisms are eliminated or senesce, preventing the propagation of damaged genetic material. In conclusion, DNA damage sensing and repair are essential for protecting our genetic material and preventing diseases like cancer. Key checkpoints and signaling pathways halt the cell cycle in response to damage, allowing for repair or cell death. Different DNA repair mechanisms collaborate to maintain genome integrity. This knowledge is crucial for developing targeted therapies against DNA repair pathways.